All right, people, welcome back to the league. Wait, we're not. Why on are we on death, bro? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So, uh, we had a little bit of, uh, technical difficulties, so we have to duel on Depro for this video, people. But, uh, still, don't worry, don't worry, still getting that league content, there's just, of course, no mulligan, really. <laughs> so, um, like I said, this is gonna be interesting, because, like I said, I've said before how the reason we don't do, uh, oh my god, five bat rows. Oh my god. <laughs> So anyway, like I said, the reason I've said in comments, people say, no, why don't you do all on do the duels on Dev Pro slash Salvation? Is because Salvation and Dev Pro move much faster, you know, their cards and pace and stuff like that than Dian. So our comment, I'm worried our commentary might start lagging behind, or we might have to start like talking really fucking fast to keep up. You know what I mean? So set five well, blind space. I, you know yeah. what? I don't know who is who, and I don't know who's deck, what deck they're using. <laughs> Uh, me neither. I'm, I'm guessing this this is Slate, and I don't know what Slate will be using if he's got that. Probably Dustin's. You think it's Dustin's? I have no idea. We're already being unprofessional and bad. I know, I, I know he runs one day in his Dustin's, but I'm not sure if he does in his Black Wings. Oh no, it's Dustin's. Okay. So... Oh, it's Dustin's. Yeah, that's the only deck he has. That he's right, in. Go ahead and pull out your document and go ahead and read off everything. I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna go back to sleep. It's, okay, it's yeah, because it's like seven in the morning for you. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so this is between Slate, who is a V Zane Cyber Dragons, whose three decks are Heroes, Blackwings, and Dustins, and has two points currently, and Stu, who is the Jack Red Archfiends, who has Burning Abyss, Five Fists, and Worms, and has three points currently. It's a regional division divisional match. There we are. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, by the pace that Stu has taken it, I'm assuming it's Worms. I'm, I'm guessing it's Worms too, because why? Yeah, and plus yeah all it that, has to be a worm. It has to be a worm. All that bat row, yeah. Because he's already he used uh, Fire Fist last week, and there's no way that Burning Abyss are this slow. So, I, I definitely have to say it's Worms. <laughs> like, unless you're in a really, really bad shock, predicament, you don't twist. set. It's Burning Abyss. <laughs> it's, you're setting in Burning Abyss. You open it that bad in Burning Abyss. Yeah, hey. Oh Can't my Mull God! Can't Mulligan on Death Row. You'll get to his cards eventually. You'll get that Dante out soon. <laughs> yes. That would be a sad day. <laughs> yeah, it would. This is a big one. This is a divisional map. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you? Why don't we do it on fucking Death Pro, You say? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what we the gotta fuck? <laughs> All right. Well, restart. I guess. Yeah, oh, did, right was that slight scooping? I I don't know. Be right if that was slight scooping, yeah, you hit the wrong button, slight. You meant to just press surrender, and then you'll go to siding for game th two. All right, so yeah. After that we... lovely disconnect. Mm hmm. So why don't we record on Death Row? Mm hmm. Oh. And this door might not even come out because Slate's gotta go soon. So if this turns into a long fucking door. I don't Slate's even know what to the do. game lost. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what to do. Slate will just lose. They they yeah. literally have an entire week to fucking get in contact. It's not like it. it's not like they even have like four or five days. You know, like Monday to Friday, they have the whole week because they can just go. Okay, well, we recorded this door. Can we record the one for next week? Like, yeah, sure. We've already recorded the first duel of week five, before the final duel of week four. So you know, if you need to get in contact with us, just get in contact with us. But no one organizes their fucking duels really. So. There you go, people. And then so. we like, and then Thursday night, what well, I had to arrange like three out of four people's fucking doors and organize times between four different time zones. That was annoying. Yeah. And it just happened to be the three of us. Like, oh yeah, we'll just go ahead and uh, record on Saturday fucking morning. Yeah, Saturday seven in the morning for you, and what's it? Twenty past four in the morning for me. In in the morning, in the afternoon for me. Seriously, because you know, I think. Slate lives on the east uh, east coast. I think Stu lives in Central Time, and you live in. So and everybody, live... everybody was at least like nine o'clock plus, and they're like, "Where's Daniel?" It's like fucking six o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Like, <laughs> like no, uh, no, <laughs> fuck you. This isn't worth it. <laughs> so wouldn't this house doesn't go? You just say you should destroy either by battle or by. By card effect, battle, and if it was say something was done, then step or by card effect. Okay. Alright, so it has to be face up at the certain damage stat. Okay. To be destroyed by a battle. Like, I won't be surprised if 
Slay's about to run into a mirror force, but at least his house dustin will still go off. But he's definitely it's probably gonna lose that goblin. Deep prison. Oh, oh Nebulite. Oh my god. The okay, power. that's good. Yeah. Not pretty yeah. Nebulite's such a powerful card. It is. I love how everything's getting support. Where are the worm support at, Konami? Why the fuck would they need to support worms? Their story is over. Why would they make and support Crystal Beast, but they did? Well, the Crystal Beast was, what, a freaking... That was OCG, not only OCG exclusive, but that was a T actual character. Worms are just a freaking, what, a dual terminal story? I guess. My god, that thing looks like it's got a fucking flatulating pussy. I knew you were going to say that. Look at it. <laughs> Worm King has a vagina with teeth. <laughs> I would not, I would not fuck that. I'd lose my dick. <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> it's like, you like my sexy pussy? Mm, yeah. Alright. You two will reptile one type monster and select one card your pocket control to destroy it. Okay. We shouldn't be yeah, waiting. He's gonna, get, he's gonna get the dust in effect. Why are we waiting here? Middle? I'm assuming that he's like, when I wasn't paying attention which cards did you select. I'm yeah. Assuming. See? See? Oh no, let's record it on fucking Dev Pro. Uh. I mean, we are keeping up with it, at least, but still. Yep. Yeah. But still, disconnects. Cause it's not because Devro isn't a stable connection wise as uh, Deanne. Mm -mm. And not only that, but we can't ever do the fucking mulligan rule, which was pretty handy. And we were talking to Stu. I was talking to Stu afterwards when we were waiting to set up the rematch because Slate had to go update Devro and Daniel had to go eat. Not dick, for once. Anyway. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was talking to Stu, and Stu was like, yeah, that first game, yeah, I really would have loved to have mulliganed, because that hand wasn't that good. It's like, yep, that's the problem. That's one of the things you can't do on Dev, bro. If I was Stu, I would have exceeded those two into a Diamond Narwhal, but that's fine. What's up with Slate opening up with these just desserts and just burning people? I know. Oh, well. This is not looking that good for his life. Well, no, I mean, he still has his, uh, his house dusting, but he can't just ram it into anything now or lose, so. So now mm -hmm. what? <laughs> Enough to assume that it's not a nebulite. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> that abyss door is Ouch. 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 And ouch. Sh shall we move on to game two, sir? <laughs> Oh god. We fought that row? Like, yep. Mm, yep. So, this will be counting for two, really, because it's a divisional match. I'm yeah. Sure it will yeah. count for two. Mm hmm. I mean, at this point, I'm not sure if uh, Stu will be able to catch up to Omega Chaos, but. <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah, looks but like. Stu it. doesn't need to catch up to a Mega Chaos. Stu just needs to stay off the bottom spot. Yeah, stay off the bottom spot, make it to the playoffs. He definitely is. And Slate is too. Poor Kyle's like, there's no one. Poor Kyle. <sighs> yeah. So I think this might be it. Uh, then again, two out. I think he's a lot. Out of the four games he's done, two out of four games have been misplays that have cost him it. Mm hmm. So, misplays. Nice. Go ahead and negate that. Run over, get bonus points if you perfectly game. Oh no, just throw the Regeki at you. Why not? Yeah, perfectly game him. Yeah, but you get a bonus point. Yes. But I thought they said when this face up card on the field is destroyed by opponent's card, so even if the Regeki. Yeah, so it wouldn't have mattered, but. Okay, so. Um, uh... why are they not going to side? Yeah, I would say. How did they that said it as fucking single, didn't did, they? Did they? Oh, you idiots. Hold on. I don't know. I could have thought it was a match. I don't know. Hold I on. could too, but... We'll figure this out. Okay. We're back. Woo. So, our bad. We never, we never really spectated a match. All we had to do was click the cancel button and they wouldn't decide. So, we're yeah. back. And, uh, going on to game two. So, let's see if, uh, maybe Slate can bring it. Stuff, so, we'll see. Yeah, nice and sided, even though I have no idea that they would side for each other. <laughs> Me neither. 
<laughs> so, you can clearly see, of course, Worms with Dustin, so if Stu wins this, one point, but if uh, Flake wins this, two points, and a divisional match, so. What? I will feel to do they run. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> that was sick, though. Slate runs to Black Garden. Oh, right, 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 right. Black Garden, that's right. And, yeah, that, that uh, mistake is wrecking him. Oh my god, beautiful. Beautiful Could... mistake, such a powerful card. Mm hmm. And the people are like, Ticking should go to 2 or 3. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad people saying that's that. That's right, I think Bad. mistake should go down just because it's another floodgate. Arguably one yeah. of the most powerful floodgates right now, besides Imperial Iron Wall. Yeah, but Imperial Iron Wall doesn't really... It's, it's, you don't really main Imperial Iron Wall, so it's like Imperial Iron Wall is a fine floodgate of three, really, for now. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the future it'll be busted and deserve to go down, but for now I don't think it's that bad. Fuck that card. But, oh, One Day? Your favorite card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh? I don't like One Day. I don't even like Chicken Game right now. It's essentially mm -hmm. One Day. Yeah. I am not liking that card. I want to take it out of my cleave, but if I do, I don't know what to Elf. replace it with. Wow, okay. Piper. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you get it. Yep. Piper's such a nice card. Mm-hmm. It's not like it's not like a busted card, but it's, it's still a good card. Yep, even with mistake locking you down, you can still go ahead and draw them. Yeah, I just it's interesting that there's actually some decks that are weak to Imperial Iron Wall. Yeah, mm -hmm. you generally you would think Imperial Iron Wall, like oh, cards can't be banished. Like who cares? Who banishes? That's like good. That? I don't want my cards banished. But yeah. some decks are like, you know, I really want my cards banished. Yeah, so. Like, you flip up an Imperial Iron Wall versus Ritual Beast. Exactly. Uh, GG. <laughs> Ritual Beast, Necros to an extent, uh, Infernoids, I mean, come on. Mistake on their hand, that, that's literally turning into, like, the new Fred that, that card. That hits everyone. Yeah, pretty much. It's kind of like how I... fucking uh, Macro and uh, Defraser were. It's like, well, I can play on a Macro and Defraser, so I'm going to play it. It's like, well, I don't search that much, so, and I can play on a Mistake, so I'm just going to play it just to hurt my opponent. Yeah. So, because I wouldn't be surprised. I'm surprised that uh, mistaken arrest is not mistaken arrest, or wrongful arrest, or whatever it is. It's mistaken arrest. You got it right the first time. All right. It's as much is as much as mistake. I mean, I, like I, I said, I personally, personally I think mistake. Personally, is personally I prefer mistaken arrest over mistake because it means that anyone can play it. You know, even if you're a big search deck, you just get all your searchy stuff over, and then you can play it, and then it stuns your opponent for their turn. I, and I don't like the stun. I like the your deadness. You can do your searching again. I like the deadness. I, I like it just like versus tra uh, trap stun versus Royal decree, because mm -hmm. I'm pretty much I'm gonna get one card unless you're dumb. You know, you go ahead and activate a search card. I play mistaken arrest. Your card fizzles, so we won for one. You know, and and unless you straight up can't do anything and I can lock down your search and, and I beat you next turn, you're probably gonna go ahead and get Ooh, something. Oh, fairy wind, nice. You know, you you know you're probably I gonna go ahead and get something. Here. Well, mm -hmm. if I have mistake and you have a handful of search cards. The, all them search cards are dead. You know, yeah. it's just like Royal Lecree, where if you have a whole bunch of traps, then all them traps are dead in comparison to, all right, trap's done. Well, I got one trap, but you still got all the rest of the traps. You just got to wait. So, if I can play, if I can, if I, if my deck, I can choose between Mistake and Rest and Mistake, I would definitely go Mistake. Just because it's a Floodgate. Because Floodgates make Yu-Gi-Oh! go round. You put your helmet on, Floodgate time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. like I said, it, do, it does depend on what, it does depend on what deck you're playing, though. To be fair, yeah. <laughs> to a degree, like for example, Ritual Beast, they can play Mistake and Arrest. They really can't play Mistake. I mean, you can sort of get around it because Canahawk can sort of search you your card and add it back, and it gets around Mistake that way. So that's something. But you can't really do it properly. You can't do the main thing that you want to do, the ulti Canahawk searching and shit like that. You can't do that if Mistake's up. Never again. Never an attack decoration? Ooh. Oh, speaking oh, of them fuck. floodgates, though. Yeah, speaking of floodgates. Damn. Damn, Stu is just locking this duel down. Yep, the center of the graveyard, so. 
the attack was already declared, you can go ahead and take that 18, it's gonna get banished. No effect. Nope. You get nothing. You so, lose. Good day, sir. Yep, floodgates make the world go around. Put your helmet on floodgate time. Yep. I mean, talking of, uh, talking of uh, putting your helmet on, like, Bujins, uh, Heroes. I just hate... I, I, I put Cleese, so... I know. I mean... <laughs> I hate heroes now. I just I don't like what they became. That's what I mean. Like before, they were cool, and the stupid thing is, they could even they could be even cooler than they were before if it weren't for Dark Lord, because people could be like doing all oh, these cool things with fucking Anki, and then you mass change it during the battle phase into something else, and then you do your friggin' acid stuff, and you do all that. Like that could be cool, but just Dark Lord. And you yeah, think but, out of all but the it just is really degenerate because all people just go is up, oh, go, fucking play dark, mass change with mass change stack in dark law, set back row, and then play protect my fucking dark law. I'm <laughs> booting like so you're, you're gonna that MST <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Because you can't play without macro, so. And you think that of everybody to like mass heroes, you think it would be me. <laughs> out of all people. Yeah, because they're common riders. Yeah. <laughs> You don't do you because the stupid Dark Law. Yeah, because Dark Law, wow. If Dark Law didn't exist, you probably would like them. I wouldn't mind them. It'd be a really yeah. aggressive deck, but they've kind of always been a kind of aggressive deck. Yeah, heroes always have so. They, they have high consistency, which means they can run back row, and then you know, they, they're aggressive when they need to be. You know, with their bubble mans and their blade armor ninjas and stuff they yeah just... but if you yeah but if you were to hit rota then the heroes would be totally inconsistent and they won't work i don't want to hear that like... fucking bullshit argument that people were saying it's like that fucking thing that people are saying like oh if you hit rota heroes won't be consistent like no like well, if they hit rota called, called e-emergency call people Have you like, heard well, of if they hit rota then we can get stratos back like you're not getting no. it back <laughs> no it's not coming back all right stop it give it up I am really surprised that that site didn't grab that MST. I don't know, me too. I mean, unless he has one in hand already. But if that's the case, why wouldn't you? Unless you chopped that thing. Yeah, I would say unless you drew into it. Because I would have played oh. that attack decoration as soon as still would have thrown that macro and chained MST. Damn right. It looks like Stu's side deck is putting in that work and there's a uh, kicking butt. Stu, Slate Dog? Slate Dog, because Stu took frickin' Slate's name. Kick his butt, oh, take yeah. your name. <laughs> oh. I'm Slate Warrior now. <laughs> yes. Damn. Gonna go on the offensive with fucking Yagen now. What do you think of Sybil Shadows with part of Taboos? It makes them a little bit less consistent, you know. But like I said, Shadows as of late have really never been their own archetype. They've always been splashing with something now. Mm -hmm. Just because they don't have enough lights to feed them, which is definitely a major problem when it comes to Shadows. You know, whether it be you know Star Sheriff Shadows or uh, Clown Shadows or you know, yeah, they really hasn't. Been I think I dolls. think yeah, but I mean, what do you think about the whole? Pot of booze in them, and you can just loop it and flip it, and you just fucking get rid of your opponent's entire hand. I mean, it's not bad. It gives you more access to uh, Shikinaga, which isn't terrible. Yep, Shikinaga's great. Mm -hmm. Oh well, two hundred points left, Slate. You gotta kill that cowboy. It might be more something if Konami ever decides to do anything to construct, like what they did in the OCG. Yeah. I, could, I think that's what they do. They, their shadows are now turned into either Sybil shadows or Train shadows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they went Sorry, Prediction Princess. I still think Sybil is better. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, that, yeah! that top deck. <laughs> 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 <Da -da -da. laughs> oh my god. So, I hopefully go ahead and do something, set a monster or something. Uh, play a face-up spell or trap and then he can fairy wind you for game. Couldn't he just fairy wind his own macro for game? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> nice top deck though. Yeah. Jamie didn't uh, add that MSD, then you'd be golden right about now. I know! I don't know why you didn't, Slate. 
Like, man, fuck that Jet Dessert. You're not gonna do enough damage. Yeah. Depro gave you the out, and you fooed it away. Like, no. I don't need it. Now, now it's late time. I need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. Definitely I don't need, need it. it. <laughs> Yep. Flip and search. Little did you know that Stu runs two cowboys. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> You're terrible, Stu. Go away. <laughs> like, what are you Go playing? Home. Fucking you send you. <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. So, fisting. Fine, I say. Put put pretty good work in that world. Yeah. And uh, not as pro as that MLG Pro Mystic Tomato. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. my god. Is this it, Slight? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, wow. Alright, well that was the game. <laughs> wow, so there you go, people. So, as a digital match, Stu gets uh, one point and Slate gets nothing. <laughs> you lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> so, uh, there. There's a video on the pro slash... Def why do you press slash? Yeah. So, what do you think? What do you think before we go? What do you think about? Um, I think my fear of us not being able to keep up were unfounded. Clearly, we managed to keep up with the duel, but I don't know. Yeah. It 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 gets rid of the entire mulligan rule, which kind of people weren't happy at first, but they seem to have sort of gotten used to it now. And the people in the league they like it because it means like, oh shit, I opened up like shit. Well, at least I get a second chance per se. And the con you know what I mean? The connectivity. <laughs> yeah. You can actually play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because you can just redraw your fucking hand and hopefully get something that's not playable. So, yeah. there we go, people. You might get another one of these. Because it's still with technical difficulties with uh, Week 5 as well. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. there you go. That is the end of Week 4. So, of course, we'll be back next weekend with Week 5. Updating you guys on the score. I said we got five, six, and seven, and then off to the playoffs. So everybody's still trying to earn them points and still trying to at least make it to the playoffs. So thank you, Sazi, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Both Stu and Slate's channel will be in the description. So go and click it and go to their channel and check out their content. So all right, people, thanks for watching.